Hello, hello. I said we'd be back today to do some more to our file folder. I um, hope the camera is going to work and not cut out all, all the other stuff that could happen. Um, I have finished cutting out the images and I've inked around those so hopefully um, we won't waste too much time today. So the first thing I wanted to do is a little bit more work on the cover and I thought we would put um, a couple of images in here. Nothing too spectacular. Um, I've put these into sizes so I think I'd kind of printed these two a little bit smaller so they could go here somewhere. Um, we've got muslin and we've got cheesecloth so I think I might use a bit of muslin for this. Um, you can see where I wipe my desk with ink <laughs> to ink the muslin. Um, let's have a look. I think I'd actually change my mind. Surprise, surprise. I think I'd like to use some music paper. I've got some here. I have got something in mind for some of it. I think that I will use for what I would like to do in a bit. Oh, guess what I got? Guess what I got? I got a ruler, a tear ruler. Thanks to everybody who um, gave me the name and told me where I could get it from. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble because um, it was a lot of them were USA. So, but I found one. Oh, I can't use that piece because that's for something else. That's for pockets. Right, okay. Let's get out one of my music books. This paper feels really nice actually. Oh, that's a nice page. Oh, that's really nice though, isn't it? to just tear a little bit off first. This is so much quicker than tearing by hand. And right, it's not going to quite fit. Might have to overlap slightly. Which means I'm probably going to have to here again. Great start. There we go. I want it somewhere. I see a bit, a bit of the music at the top and the bottom. If you haven't got one of these rulers, oh, so get one. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to. A little bit at the bottom. So I probably want to take that there. And I think both images are the same size. So I want to make sure both of these are the same size. Oh, I really like that. I like the treble clef and the sharps. So I'm going to do that side. I still don't understand why you watch. I take so long to make a decision. And thank you to everybody who made amazing comments yesterday on my kit. Um, really appreciate everybody's support. It was amazing. Amazing. So obviously I can't ink everything in advance before we film, so I have got to do some inking and uh, 
it's just one of those things you can't do quickly, isn't it? I'd sing to you if I could. You can put in some requests for the next video. <laughs> And I have thought about having music playing, but the whole copyright music thing is just a minefield, so it's not even worth looking into that. Um, when I first started doing videos, I used to have music on instead of um, me talking, and uh, that was great. However, a lot of the copyright free music is like one or two minutes long. So you'd be halfway through a video, <laughs> the music would stop and then you'd get the ad and I, I could never move quick enough to turn the ad off. <laughs> so I used to record I don't know how many times um, and that wasn't because of my mess ups, that was just because the music stopped. Now I have to stop because I've messed up or haven't even turned the camera on and various other things that happen when I film. So, oh, and yesterday, technical, major technical issue. Um, got the kit up, was really pleased with myself that I'd managed to create zip files and load the files onto my Etsy. And then I got an email saying both kits were the same. So I spent a long time, had to take it off Etsy, um, correct all the files and then I had to email everybody who purchased the kit and had to email them the correct files. Um, I felt so bad and such a muppet because um, I was so pleased with myself for managing to do this technical thing by myself. So that just goes to prove that I can't be trusted and I tell you what, I admire anybody who um, makes kits and put them on Etsy frequently because your technical genius is as far as I'm concerned. So, bit of glue on my finger. I think that looks okay. So I've got my baby wipe at the ready. Let's have a look and see what it looks like inside. Yeah, I like that. So, um, I'm not sure if we're going to sew the, I'm not going to do any sewing today, um, but I will, the next video will be some sewing. So what I think I'll do is prep things to sew and then we'll sew them next time. Although I'm quite happy with those without sewing. I think we're going to glue these in. I like these. We've got some, um, there's definitely some sewing to do on what I want to do next. So um, I think we're just going to glue these in place. I'm not sure if we're going to put an image on the next pocket or what we're going to do with those yet. There's always so many decisions to make and I can't make too many at a time. I think it's going to go in the middle. Yeah, like that. Likey, likey. So we'll put one over here. Um, and the other thing that I've got, um, I just want to finish off that outside cover as well and put some of those words on. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish the outside cover because I, what I want to put on, um, I'm not sure if we should do that at the end so it's easier to work on this. So it might be, we'll have a look. We'll have a looky looky. So that's that. Now, um, you might have noticed I, I had a little piece of leftover cheesecloth. I'd cut a strip and it was too small for what I wanted it for. So I've, I had this small strip and I've, I've already glued that into place. And I found, um, I think I got it out last time to use. We looked at move, putting it along the pocket, but it was too white. So I've stained this and I think we're going to pop that down the middle. But we'll have it flush at the top and the bottom 
so we've got a little bit of cheesecloth sticking out so it looks like a book is what I thought we would do um, I don't think I'm going to stick this in just yet but that's that's the plan so the front I decided that I wanted this here um, I think that, that goes quite well and it's quite pretty but this is going to cause a problem where it open and closes so what I am going to do is I'm going to glue the seam binding to about here so it will only open that far and then it's not going to bother this when it hangs over the book file folder sorry so I don't know what you think about that idea but that was that was my plan just to glue a small amount of that in place but first things first um, I showed you the little words last week that comes with Mrs Cog's kit so they're always quite handy and I'm sure we're going to use um, most of this and uh, I've had a little oh, glue and muslin stuck to my fingers um, I've had a little look and uh, I, I don't know if that is slightly too big whether we should go for the smaller one um, maybe even cut this down let's have a little look that means I'm now going to have to ink that cut edge a little bit okay so maybe maybe something like that that one doesn't look dark enough does it I really do try to make decisions a bit quicker when I'm on film but I don't like just go and knee jerk reaction so our two options are those uh, what was really funny is the the umming and ahhing about the front cover because a lot of you said that's brilliant that's the right cover and then other people said I'd have gone for the other picture so um, go and buy Mrs Cog's kit and make one really do it's beautiful so which one I'm actually liking this along the bottom but that's not cut straight so I'm going to go for that one I'm going to go for that so we're going to glue that in we've like I said we can still use the other pieces um, We've got other options. We've got lots of things that we're going to do to go inside this. So I'm going to be making one of those shortly. with that I like it so it's sort of coming to coming coming along so what, what we're going to do oh, put that over there. what we're going to do now is we're going to make something to go in because obviously this is only um, cardstock it's quite a good cardstock it is um, the, the paper pad or card pad was it's fairly sturdy but what I want to do is I want to make something fairly hefty to go in this back pocket just to keep that back more solid the front we've got the collage on and that's already a little bit more solid but I want to do something for the back just in case we don't put an image on that back page so I'm going to pop that out of the way <coughs> And I'm going to get in this double sheet of music paper. Now, I had, um, I've got two sheets of music paper and I've prit-sticked prit it together. 
and Pritt stick is great for just sticking two sheets of paper it gives it a little bit of sort of um, stability but the only thing is it, it does give you some wrinkles and this is partially my fault because I didn't use my brayer on it but this is going to make some nice pockets so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little booklet now um, you kind of need a double sheet for this we are going to cut it down but I'm going to make the shape of the booklet first and what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to decide I don't want the writing so I'm going to fold this inwards now this side I'm going to have a look at I don't like that side so I'm going to fold this one out so we've got a kind of double now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with Pritt stick and I still don't actually have my brain anywhere to hand <laughs> cool um, I'm not going to worry about going right to the top and the bottom because we're going to cut a lot of that off when I say Pritt stick I mean you who I ran out of my blue. The blue one is awesome because you can see exactly where you've been. This one you can't, but to be fair, thanks to Nick the booksmith, the glue is much better. It's pretty good. I'm going to give that a really good push down. Make sure any lumps that are inside are getting spread out. And that's going to give us a little book cover. Oh, my phone. <laughs> and now I'm going to do the same on this side. The trouble with Pritt stick is it is actually quite sticky and it is quite difficult to use. I won't lie, it's not the easiest glue to manoeuvre. Okay. A little bit of glue have seeped up the holes but that doesn't matter because we're going to cover that oh, back door's just blown open okay so when this dries it will actually be quite sturdy so what we're going to do oh i'm getting a draft down my legs is we're going to cut this to size now I really like the bottom half more than the top half so I'm probably going to mess my blade up now putting some wet Pritt stick through this I'm not yet it's kind of ripped it's kind of ripped that so I'm going to take my scissors and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of the lines on the music paper to cut a straight line there we go should have should have done that in the first place rather than use my pants cutter and I'm gonna go halfway down here I think although what I do want to do is make sure I've got a whole line and I'm gonna cut to there it's gonna be a little bit shorter cover for our little book um, once it's dry it will be much easier to flatten out what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the corners on this and even though I've got my crocodile I've got to say I still prefer this one if, the, if it goes through this is much much neater of a corner than the crocodile I think sure a lot of people out there agree with me because a lot of people told me the crocodile was amazing which it is it goes through much thicker materials than that does but to me this is just a perfectly rounded corner so um, you can guess what's coming 
I'm gonna ink. Oh, sorry. Inking is so boring for you lot to watch. You lot, sorry, I sound like one of my kids. You guys, you ladies and gents. You awesome people out there. Okay. So. Oh, um, when I sped up last week, I said that there was, um, I, I didn't say anything important. But I absolutely did, and then fast forward it so I sounded like as somebody described a chipmunk <laughs> and her dog um, <laughs> raised its ears and um, was watching. Um, yeah, I was talking about um, Crafty Savvy Sabrina, um, and then I deleted it all. Um, but I, I'd watched. Um, I wanted to say thank you to her for um, mentioning me in her video, but also she had an amazing haul and you guys are so lucky who who have those kind of um, th is it thrift stores, you call them. Um, we have charity shops, but they're actually getting really expensive here, where I am anyway, I don't know about where everybody else in the UK lives, but it's getting more and more difficult to find a bargain. You can still sometimes, but it's not as easy. Um, and if you've just noticed, what I've done is I've got the wrong ink out and I've just inked with the same colour twice. That's the one I want. I quite like that though, that's all right. It's all right. Okay, so I am gonna do the inside because we are gonna decorate this a little bit. On the inside, I'm going to stick a couple of little pockets on the inside. I think, yeah, I know, I am definitely. So this is going to be kind of a little mini journal because we've we've this is not a journal, just like I did in my video yesterday. Um, I quite like the idea of having a little notebook in these file folders. Um, I'm really pleased with one I made for. A, for a nature themed one I'm using um, a kit from the old design shop uh, it's awesome and on that particular one I have made a notebook very similar to this same kind of way um, and I'm really happy with how that turned out right so what I want to do now is I want to put a strip of muslin down my spine just like I did on um, the file folder so what I'm going to do first of all is just cut a straight edge because that is not a straight edge. Make sure that's long enough because I know exactly what I'm like. I'll cut it off and then it won't be enough. The other thing I thought we could do is use one of those other bigger images as a cover but that might be a little bit too big now thinking about it um, I don't have I've got I don't know how many pairs of scissors but not one decent pair none of them cut very well not one pair right so same old, same old, a bit more inking. We really do need some music, don't we? Then it'll really be like crafting with your friends. Close this. I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to do this side first. I'm just going to run a little bit of glue up there. I'm just going to touch that, and that actually picks it up. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a few seconds to dry, doesn't take very long, 
and I like to give it a rub because I like what happens to the ink. It's like you've wet it. Even though this is um, acetone based glue and it's not a wet glue like um, Mod Podge or a Prit Stick, it does still make that ink run a little bit at the beginning. So I like that. It's very similar to the effect we've got on the file folder itself. So I'm going to do the same this side. got that edge and I'm just going to quickly open that up and then again turn it over. So can you, I don't know if you can see the effect and where, where the ink looks fairly plain here but you get this kind of lovely mottled effect on the on the little um, on the muslin. Okay so that's the little book cover a little bit cover is done. Um, this will straighten out, don't have to worry about that yet. We're going to put pocket on the inside, we're going to have some pages. So let's decorate the front. It's going to have to be a smaller, smaller image. Um, go through a few. So I love that, that's beautiful. I'm not sure if we're going to use those. Is that Harrison Fisher? I think we kind of need a whole Harrison Fisher project because they've got a certain kind of look to them. I really like that one too. That's pretty beautiful, isn't it? That's a bit too similar to the other one though, so is that one. Okay. So, three to choose from. So what I'm going to do is just kind of have a quick think which ones would I most like to see on a tag. Um, and I love these two. This one I really love. Oh, this one's pretty cool too, but that's too big. So, right. Children with the cello. Or Lady with the Harp. I think we're going to go Children with the Cello. Yeah. Although well, this pre cool. Oh, that one's really nice. Oh, yeah. Let's go for that one. Okay. So, again, I'm going to keep the cover fairly simple because this is um, to go inside. We don't need this to be too elaborate it is only paper on the cover so you know what we're going to do cheesecloth it cheesecloth it and then um, we'll prepare some pages to go on the inside before we think about pockets and oh i hate that this is the one thing i hate about fabric doesn't matter how quickly you put the lid back on I still get glumpy bits. Uh, glumpy is a word, but lumpy, glumpy, horrible bits. Okay. This might be a bit I fast forward. <laughs> You don't want the muslin to be too cheesecloth to be too tight. Ah, oh, muppet. Do you know how many times I've reprinted images just because as I've backed them I haven't left enough? Okay. Cheesecloth's not so bad because you can always glue another piece on, but if you're using muslin. That's just a waste. Okay. I don't necessarily want this to be too tidy. I do, however, want it to have. A little bit around the edges. 
think we might still need to trim slightly. Not quite as tight as I did 